Welcome back to another episode of Happy Go Lucky Beho Reviews. Today we will be doing a quick review on kart racers other than the King Mario Kart. We already did a review on Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U and we will not be doing one for that game today. The link is below if you want to check it out. We will be doing mini reviews of kart racers that prove they can just be as much fun as Mario Kart. We will be looking at three games today, starting with Crash Team Racing, Nitro Field, Sonic and All-Star Racing Transformed, and Team Sonic Racing. All these games have the same amount of tools every kart racer needs with power-ups and speed boosts and drifts when you're on harder modes. What separates them from the pack is the unique levels, all the characters you can play, and what they actually add to the kart racing genre. With Crash Team Racing Nitro Field, the game takes place in the Crash Bandicoot universe. The game is a remastered version of the original PlayStation version released in 1999. Released today on PC, PS4, Switch, and the Xbox One, Crash Team Racing is faithful in every regard to the original from its unique story mode to just racing all the circuits. Everything runs at a silky smooth 60 frames a second. Although there is no resolution boost for the upgraded consoles like the PS4 Pro or the Xbox One X, the game still runs gloriously at 1080p. This game is beautiful and a testament on the recreation of the original. The best part of the game is the in-game boost you can use during the race. You don't need a power up for it, you just add to your gauge. This gives you a more strategic approach to when you need to use it as there is a gauge onto when and how much you can use. The game controls are extremely tight and the drifts feel just right and not overdone. With great visuals, controls, and a great cast to pick from, the game is a solid 8.5 out of 10. Moving on to an older game from Sega, we look at Sonic and All-Star Racing Transformed, released originally on the PS3, PC, Wii U, Vita, 3DS, and the Xbox 360. You can pick up this digitally on the Xbox One for the backwards compatibility. A sequel of sorts to Sega All-Star Racing, Transform does what other racers do not. The vehicles transform from a car to a plane or a boat. This pushes levels to be more dynamic than just having one racing style where you can have three different styles. Unique tracks from Sega's old library with great tunes from the Genesis era also are a great addition. Plenty of characters to pick from in the Sega universe, including Wreck-It Ralph, but lacks one feature. The flying parts of the game really suck. The gameplay is not like the boat or the car scenes, which are controlled wonderfully. The flying parts are just too hard to control. You find yourself bumping into many of the different walls and frustrated and fearful of any time you need to transform into a plane. Other than that, the game is beautiful with good controls and racing tracks that are probably the best in any kart racer I've seen today. Although the flying scenes take a hit, this game could have been so much more. It knocks down the score to a 7.5 out of 10. The final game we are reviewing is Sega's newly released Team Sonic Racing. This game is released for the PS4, PC, Switch, and the Xbox One. 
The game is also beautiful, especially running on Xbox One X. The crisp visuals and unique courses rival even the best that Mario has to offer. This, with more modes besides just a circuit racing, also rivals Crash Team Racing and their adventure story mode. The biggest difference is that you race in a team of three. How your team finish could directly impact you and your place in the standings. I had a team where Sonic was always number one, but the rest of my team placed fifth or higher. This led to less points overall, and we placed second overall in the circuit. You need to help your teammates succeed as much as you can. That is the main focus of the game. I no longer keep an eye on first place. I need to make sure that also my teammates are in a high place and have the right power-ups and slingshot and super moves in order to finish in the high 1, 2, and 3. There is so much more you can do in this game that it reminds me of a souped up Mario Kart Double Dash where you focus on team play rather than one player mode only. The AI is strong with perfect controls and a bunch of Sonic Universe based characters to pick from. This game deserves and earns a 9.0 out of 10 and is a strong contender if not better than Mario Kart 8. This is what I want. Now that's just my opinion on these great kart racers. My son ranks them from CTR Nitro Field as number one, then Sonic Team Racing, Mario Kart 8, and then Sonic Transform, only because he hates the flying scenes. But his favorite game of all time as a kart racer is Mario Kart Wii, since he loves King Boo. That's all for this episode. Please like and subscribe if you like what we do here, which is have a lot of fun with games and entertainment. Greg, take us out of here. Damn. Uh. Yeah.